Let's draw the structure for 3 methyl heptane. Hept right here tells us that there are 7 carbons in the parent chain. Ane right here tells us that there are only single bonds between these carbons. Let's draw the parent chain with 7 carbons. A trick to draw these is that you always count one less than the actual number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, let's do this. We have to draw seven carbons. We are going to count until six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's number these carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, there is a metal attached on the third carbon is right here. Let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach a methyl on the third carbon. So on the third carbon we have a methyl attached. So this is the structure for 3-methylheptane. Let's draw the structure for 4-propylheptane. Hept right here tells us that there are seven carbons in the parent chain. Ain tells us that there are only single bonds between these carbons. Let's draw the longest carbon chain with seven carbons. Now a trick to draw these is you always count one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's number these carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven carbons. Four propyl tells us that there is a propyl attached on the fourth carbon. Propyl means that there is an attachment of three carbons. Okay, let's get rid of these numbers and let's draw the propyl on the fourth carbon. So that's methyl, that's ethyl, and that is propyl. So this is the structure for 4 propyl heptane. Let's draw the structure for 2 2 dimethyl butene. This but here tells us that there are four carbons in the parent chain. This ane right here tells us that there are only single bonds between these carbons. Okay, let's draw the parent chain with four carbons. And a trick to draw this, that we always count one less than the actual number of carbons we want to draw. One, two, three. Let's number these. One, two, three, four. Now, we see it says methyl right here. So there is a methyl attachment. We see this dye that tells us that there are two methyls. So there are two methyls attachment on both carbon number two which is right here. So we have two metals on this carbon, number two. Let's get rid of the numbers and let's attach the metals. This is the first metal. This is the second metal. So this is the structure for 2,2-dimethylbutene. Let's draw the structure for 3 ethyl 2 4 dimethyl hexane. Hex right here tells us that there are six carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Ane right here tells us that this is an alkene, meaning that there are only single bonds between carbons. 
Let's draw the six carbons. And a trick to draw these is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. One, two, three, four, five. Let's number them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we have an ethyl attached on the third carbon, just right here. We have dimethyl on the second and on the fourth carbon. So on the second carbon here and on the fourth carbon. Okay, so let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the ethyl on the third carbon and the dimethyl on the second and the fourth carbon. On the third carbon, methyl, ethyl. Now on the second carbon, we have a methyl. And on the fourth carbon, we have a methyl. Now this is the structure for 3-ethyl, 2,4-dimethyl hexane. Let's draw the structure for 2-chloropentane. Pent right here tells us that there are five carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Ian here tells us that this is an alkane, meaning that there are only single bonds between carbons. Okay, so let's draw the five carbons. A trick to draw these is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Let's number these. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we have a chloro attached to this pentane. This two here tells us that it is on the second carbon. Chloro means chlorine. Now we have a chlorine attached on the second carbon. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the chlorine on the second carbon. So this is the structure for 2-chloropentane. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos.